Sunny Sleep. Sunny Sleep is asking, what do you think of the Islamophobia laws heading towards the Senate? Um, so for those of you who are not aware, um, I believe it was Ilhan Omar who originally drafted this, although I think it was maybe different representatives who um, actually sponsored the bill. But there is this so-called Islamophobia bill that um, just passed through the House. And now it has to go through the Senate. And um, partly what inspired this was um, the commentary of Representative Boebert towards Representative Omar, Ilhan Omar, uh, that were uh, definitely uh, uh, bigoted against Muslims. Uh, that's definitely part of it. But um, the Islamophobia bill actually, it's called Combating International Islamophobia Act. Um, part of it does, it, it's just genuinely about anti-Muslim bigotry and how there is a rise of anti-Muslim bigotry globally. Um, so that's not something I uh, inherently oppose, recognition of that and steps to combat that. Um, now, it being called Islamophobia is obviously something that we dislike and we don't agree with and we uh, objectively hate the promotion of that term <laughs> or any validation or legitimization of that term. Um, I don't think it's likely that it will pass through the Senate. Um, and actually today, ex-Muslims of North America released a statement about this bill that might be interesting to read a little bit about. I so wish this was called the anti-Muslim bigotry, whatever, so that we could come and endorse it and promote it badly. You know, we like we would be, we would be like, yes, yes, pass this bill or whatever. Like, god damn it! Like, why couldn't you just call it the right thing? Like, Elon Omar herself was calling it the right thing. Um, it and it matters. It matters that you call it the right thing because you want to make you want it to be. We want it to work, but also I don't like Susie. I wonder. I want to ask uh, you about this. Is there anything in this bill that, like, what is it supposed to stop? Like, are, don't we have other laws that stops everything that this this would stop? Like, what is it supposed oh, to stop? Um, it's well, there's there's um many different aims of it. So let's see. Let's go to section four. Um prohibition section four prohibition no funds made pursuant to this act or an amendment made by this act may be used to promote or endorse endorse boycott divestment sanctions movement or ideology or used to promote or endorse a muslim ban such as one that instituted by former president trump so hmm, that's not really it. so it specifically goes towards there's there's a few like bullet points of what it i'm looking at the actual text from the act right now Section mm. 64 is titled Monitoring and Combating Islamophobia. Oh, wait, no, two. Section two, authorization for establishment of office to monitor and combat Islamophobia. So they're asking the State what? Department to create an office, quote, the, the Secretary of State shall establish within the Department of State an office to monitor and combat Islamophobia. That would be the name of the office. So I Okay, I that's, that. that's ridiculous. <laughs> Yeah, well, okay. If okay, and let's then the say head of the office to, would have a special envoy for monitoring me, and combating Islamophobia. Let me finish. If you have an office like that, wouldn't they be in charge of like monitoring all form of hatred towards groups of people? Like, why would it? Why would you have an office that is specifically like? I don't understand, right? Like, wouldn't like. If they're like, if you have an office, like governmental body that is like looking for like hatred towards like Muslims. Okay. So let's say it was, let's say it was named properly, like anti-Muslim bigotry office, whatever, not, not Islamophobia. Right. Like what would they see like a hatred towards Jewish people? And we're like, oh, that's not our department. Like we're not, we're not funded for that. Like, would they be like, oh, see like <laughs> attack on like ex-Muslims, like people like trying to like find a way to abuse ex-Muslims and they were like, Maybe, that, you know, that's not what we're in front of for. Like if you, if you go through the process of creating, I mean, which I think already exists, it probably exists like governmental bodies that are supposed to track these things. I mean, that's what we have the FBI for, I think. All right. Um, 
I mean, you're like, why would you be like, oh yeah, just specifically focus on this form of hatred and nothing else? Like, I don't. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. This is purely um, sim- seems to me symb- symbolic. Seems to me to be just to making a suggestion just to bring attention to something rather than actually doing something about it. And again, oh, this, is- this is important. Like anti-Muslim bigotry is a real thing that needs to be addressed. Like we're not trying to like make light of that, but go on. So purpose of office upon establishment, the office shall assume primary responsibility for the following one monitoring and combating acts of Islamophobia, capital I and Islamophobic incitement that occur in foreign countries. Um, create reports relating to an assessment and description of the nature and extent of acts of Islamophobia and Islamophobic incitement, um, coordinating and assisting a report relating. Wait, 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 just a different report. Stop. No. Okay. Just when it says Islamophobic incitement, does it define it? No, no. Isn't that great? Okay. That's fantastic. Okay. That's fantastic. So that's fantastic. Reading the Quran and just looking at problematic verses could be considered Islamophobic. No, Jesus Christ. Um, this is why you shouldn't. Yeah, this is horrible. This is horrible. Um, this is going in the wrong direction. I was uh, Elon Omar seemed to have the right language, and then she's about this, and then it went bad. I was like, I was celebrating the fact that she was saying like this is a case of anti-Muslim bigotry, and here's some example of it. And then she, I, I was I was like, fantastic. She's doing this. Yeah, go on, Elon. This is great. And now she started using the word Islamophobia. I'm like, oh. And now this bill is like dark, like they're just using the Islamophobic title and then name of this bill and now they're mentioning oh we have to like investigate islamophobia and they don't mention what islamophobia means that means us right so this is how you eventually group people like us with people who are sending death threats to Elon omar right or even you go from like the uyghur genocide because this bill also explicitly mentions oh the God. uyghur autonomous region yeah so what's Islamophobia? In Islamophobia would be attack not just on Muslims, they would see anything anti-Islamic as Islamophobia. So all of a sudden people like us are being grouped with people who are putting Muslims in concentration camps by the millions. We're just like the same now, right? We're like, hey, we have a problem with Islam, Islamophobic. China puts one million Muslims in concentration camps, Islamophobic. Potato, potato. Like we're now, great job, Suzanne. Now we're, we're committing human rights violations. Yeah. Jeez. Can I read a yeah. statement that was released by XMNA? Because, um, you know, Mohammed Syed and Sarah Hader are just excellent writers. And I think they framed the question very well. Yeah, go ahead. Very quickly. So today, ex Muslims of North America, um, go check them out, you guys. Wonderful organization. They released a statement about this issue, expressing their explicit concerns about this bill. And this is only a section of it. So, quote, um, Combating anti-Muslim bigotry is a worthy goal that XMNA shares. From rising rates of hate crimes in the West to China's barbaric genocide of the Uyghurs, persecutions of Muslims is unacceptably alive and well. Nonetheless, the language of this bill leaves leaves open an alarming vulnerability to abuse and overreach, said Mohammed Syed, president of XMNA. Nowhere does the term does the text define Islamophobia, a term that religious authorities and fundamentalists have weaponized to conflate criticisms of Islam as a belief system with discrimination as against Muslims as people. This leaves the office, meaning this office that's supposed to carry out these things. Um, this leaves the office to carry out its actions in accordance with nothing but its own interpretation of the bill's vague provisions. Um, Sarah, I also want to read a quick quote from Sarah Hader. Um, quote, when the Senate considers this bill, it must amend the text to provide a clear definition of Islamophobia that explicitly excludes the criticism of the Islamic religion, said Executive Director Sarah Hader. She noted that Section 3 of the Act, which establishes a new reporting requirements for annual State Department human rights reports, provides specific guidelines that references violence and incitements, quote, against Muslim people. Quote, if no such clarifications are added to the rest of the bill in the amendment process, the Senate must reject this legislation, said Hader. XMNA continues to firmly condemn anti-Muslim bigotry while advocating for the right of free thinkers and apostates to speak their minds, and it hopes that Congress can arrive at a solution addressing both of these issues. 
That was just Beautiful. perfect. Beautifully put. Doesn't get better than that. And that was yeah. It doesn't. It doesn't get better than that. Like seriously. Like I. I don't think people understand how how much XMNA is a blessing to the United States and Canada. Um, how do we? How can we make XMNA more influential in the politics of the United States? Like we need to. Oh wait. Um, well, they're it, part sorry, of the Secular that... Coalition for America. Yeah, yeah. But we need like we need like politicians to be sitting. You know how the polit we need to get to a place. You know where how, how politicians have to sit with Muslim communities and care organization and stuff, just so that they hear them before like make comments and stuff. Like have somebody advise them about like how you know for them. We need to have have them so to XMNA would be the best candidates for them to hear the other side of everything as well. I think right. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So I hope they get there. Hey guys, if you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest Blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.